Hi, this is Armando Cruz, creator of Cruz Country Fitness and Physical Therapy. And today I have a question regarding the scale. I'm going to read it to you because I, this is a really important question that I get very often. And, it's, and this is what she writes. She writes, the scale is very discouraging. I gained over 40 pounds and it has been a mission to take them off. Sometimes looking at my weight makes me want to quit. So how do I overcome the emotional weight loss barriers? And how do I overcome the discouragement of when I see them? I'm going to answer that by asking you another question. And that is, is the scale the best tool for you to use to measure and judge your success and your progress? I would suggest to you it is not. Uh, my good friend Leanne Ellington, she's the author of the number one selling uh, ebook on Amazon. It's called Ditch the Bitch. She talks about the inner voices, and in this case, she calls them the bitches in your head that are telling you, oh, you can't do this, or you are always messing up, or you, you know, you're not good enough. You don't deserve this. You don't do that. And so she goes through all of these, and I highly recommend that book. I highly recommend that you get it but in this particular case what I would suggest is what can you do on a daily basis that can allow you to win see because you don't always have control of what that scale is gonna say and the other thing is that the scale is makes you it puts you in a reactive state so all of a sudden you have abdicated your power to the scale you are waiting for the judgment from the scale as opposed to if you say to yourself hey you know what the way I'm going to judge my success or the criterion of success is I have to work out every single day 15 minutes a day and I gotta drink 10, 10 glasses of water and I gotta sleep seven hours seven hours every day those are things that you actually have control over with preparation and uh, planning that you that it's a black and white yes I have control I did it I checked it off and the side effect of that is a healthier life a better body better energy and so on and so forth so again what are the tools that you're using to judge success in this particular case we we're talking about the scale if you want <laughs> mental sanity if you want control of your emotions, of your life again, of your journey, if you want to take the reins back and get in the driver's seat as opposed to be a passenger in your own journey, I suggest to you to get goals and use tools that empower you to win on a daily basis, not tools like the scale that put you in a reactive and survival state every time that you get on there. Does that, I hope, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave your questions below on this because this is a topic that I think more of us need to talk about. I don't think it's something that's talked about a lot because everything is lose 30 pounds in 30 days, do this, and everything that they use is designed with the scale as the end all and be all. So think about that. What are you using to determine your success or to measure your success? And is it serving you? This has been Armando Cruz. Hope this has helped you and look forward to the next video.